ulikura sana kwa maana kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni ndiye mama alikuwa anapika are you seeing the problem but the problem is not the cabbage the problem is you have not explored all the dimension that there is to prepare that thing so that it may be better than your mother cooked it that is the problem kwa maana popote utaenda enda hilton utapikiwa cabbage tu but the problem is people young people who still even now ukimpeleka kitchen apike cabbage atapika ile ya mama yake that's why she does not like the cabbage So una bring your mother no for no reason. Una una bring cabbage for no reason. <laughs> na ukiolewa upike cabbage hiyo aseme na hii chakula yenu inakaje? Unakasirika. Sema hata wewe uko na mikono kani kuku. <laughs> lakini hata wewe upendi but the problem is not the cabbage you are less informed you are not informed so even when you are getting to that kitchen you are not confident of what you will bring out so you don't like the kitchen unanunua chips na sausage mbili eh Na kama sasa mtu anaitwa Stella ako kwa shida kwa maana kule yuko hakuna mtu wa kuuza sausage. Sasa unajua naumia kiasi gani? Because kile anaweza kununua ni mandazi mbili na chapo. Na it's not a wonder ukiambia Stella you are coming to visit. Anakimbia hapo kando ananunua chapa tatu. Ana anasema katakati we kuota kwa maana hata kukatakata ni shida karibu aseme hata mtu wa kiosk amkakatia katie nyanya si si niliona mnakatakata sukuma si hata nyanya ukatakate uweke huko ndani <laughs> Sini najua. Na it is very hard ukute this ladies mtu ambaye asimeme kwa kiosk aseme akatakatiwe nyanya. Ichanganywe na sukuma. <laughs> Chunga hiyo. Then something that is very silly we are doing then later you you start asking why am i failing can i tell you ladies like now when you you work then umefanya shule ukachoka your mind is very heavy it is very easy to refresh yourself if you have made yourself knowledgeable with the kitchen work cooking refreshes the mind because it is like a art it's like art when you una, sasa you are not cooking ile ya mama yako you are you are trying to create something delicious something you are putting this you are putting that you lose all the concentration ya kile kilikusumbua so you don't need to chew gum by the time you finish your mind is so refreshed
It is another place that is very interesting. How do you know? I cook myself. So I know. And uh, I made uh, an agreement with myself. Sita Kuraka Hotel. From the time I was single. Na Sita Kura Jakura Jakuokota Okota. You get into the you get married to me, you get into a problem. Because I do not just eat anything. Uwezi kuchukua sukuma, ukoroge uweke manji na unirete. Taacha. I actually not take. Hata kama nisikuwa nimekura the whole day appetite uisha na ninashiba. So nitaiacha hapo. You cannot just go to the kitchen na ukoroge ugali vile unafikiri and you think I would eat. I don't. Because my mind, from when I was single, explore what you have. Refresh your mind. So actually when I am tired like now, some, sometimes my wife will wonder, when I come, when I'm tired, I sit for a minute. That is the time I can cook strange things. Get into the kitchen. Start doing things, doing things. And by the time I finish, instead of being tired, I'm now refreshing my mind. Refreshing my mind. But that will trouble her because when she gets to the kitchen, she doesn't know what to cook. To cook. Because she has to do the same. I trained long ago, if you want to cook green vegetable, when you cook it, it has to remain green. If it turns gray, I can't eat. I will leave it there. <laughs> it has to remain the way it was. So you must know the cookeries that maintains it green. If you have to cook cabbage, there is a smell, a cabbage that must die. And it must not turn white. It must maintain its color. And it must not have the smell, the cabbage smell, the farm smell. It must not have that. It must not have that. And there is cookeries that do that. You must explore what you have. So sometimes when I and uh, my young boys and I cook, I can cook anything from bananas and what have you. And when I finish cooking, you wonder, there is bananas I don't eat. You come kick mashing, eat that one. I don't eat. Get there you cook, and I don't eat. But there is a specific way you cook and that thing, even the one who comes in would want to know. Just that one. So I can do any implementation when I get in that kitchen. Now, to me, vile watu usema, hakuna chakura. Nikinja kukiwa na potaso peke yake, kuna chakura uko. So you cannot tell me there is no food. I wonder, what are you talking about? I just have that one and I'll create something with it. Enough. Ngalia rafiki yako mwambie it is time to move forward. Ngalia huyo mwingine mwambie you have been stuck for too long. Been stuck for too long. But the ladies do not know cooking refreshes. Because aliambiwa cooking is slavery. 
you are cooking for that animal that is enslaving you. Then you are left chewing gum to relax your mind. <laughs> Which is more honorable, to sit and cook and present something new, or to sit there chewing gum, offending people. Oh God. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And you shall notice, them that have noticed, many senior people. Them that are really thinking. That person also likes kitchen. Men, that's what you find. Kwa mana baande ya kuchoka, you get your jiko outside there, you come out with your things, you see it, you are cutting, you are putting. That smell, when it is good done, it refreshes the mind. And even if you are so tired, by the time you finish, you feel your joints are relaxed, your muscles, because it is like a nut. It is kind of a nut. At. At. Ni kumanisha ni kama kitu unachora. Now that concentration wondoa the things that tire the mind. Na kwa mana, at never owns the mind. It never ruins the mind. It actually draws from the mind and it relaxes it. Then if it is food, it will stir up your emotions and your senses when you're eating now after your mind is relaxed. You can sit there and eat and you say, wow, that is, was great. It was a good time. And you go to sleep. If you do not get knowledgeable in issues that will promote you, you end up in the bar to relax your mind. Actually, them that don't like kitchen end up in the bar, many of them. So there are so many things that you are supposed to make yourself knowledgeable in. Amen. Okay. The last one. Unanjua sasa nimerundia watu ni kaingia kwa temptation. Quick to understand. That is the other one. When the person is taught, you must be quick to understand. The last one is qualified to serve the king. Mutu wambaya ame qualify kumutumikia mfaru. Sasa tunataka kuerewa. The first question that I left out. Niti asked just wali ni meulisa aje. Miss Mother. I said you'll be the first one to, to tell us that question. Sources of physical defect. Causes. What causes that those physical defect? Okay, give her the, the microphone here. All right. Uh, I have a few causes of physical defects, and the class is interactive, so I'll be asking questions. <laughs> okay, you want okay. people to answer? Yes. Uh, the first one is low self-esteem, uh, which makes you to feel, okay, you remember what uh, physical defects, the examples that we had, like the posture, the way we sit, the way we walk. Uh, the ones the director was giving, like when you're speaking to a person, you, keeping, uh, you keep on doing something on your face, maybe wiping something, or chewing, or uh, maybe doing something on your feet, drawing the, on the floor when you're talking. So, yeah. Uh, so low self-esteem. 
when you don't have okay you're like feeling when you don't have good self esteem you're feeling like you're intimidated or you're unimportant uh which makes you feel shy when maybe someone faces you so you feel uh your esteem is making you feel like you want the time to clear fast the time you're with that person and you're keeping yourself busy maybe to distract what you're doing that is the first one low self esteem uh the second one is not being sure of what is ex- expected of you and that is what he has explained uh information deficiency um and okay when you're not sure you're fearing the consequences will you deliver will you give the results that are required so you're re- fearing the outcome such that if you don't give the expected results what will be the consequences are you ready to face the consequences ukikosea are you maybe bold enough that you're ready even and you have a room to make mistake or are you you do have the confidence that you have the answer uh, and you will give it right uh for example the cooking one if he is coming to your place and he is your visitor na hataki yo pira ojeri or rather you're not sure what he would eat i don't know what you would feel if uh, he as a visitor he has come and you don't know what to expect or what to cook for him so you will fear and you will do funny things even to keep the person of the visitor of because you don't know whether he'll accept the food that you'll be i'm uh, making for for him then the other one is boredom or fatigue uh when maybe you've been given too much beyond what you can handle and i think that that is why people maybe sit in funny uh, sitting styles or even to when your mind has shut the other one is peer pressure uh where even okay peer pressure can even be for big people even in parliament this are where they behave and you see that that behavior is it's it, they are behaving that because they are together and it also reflects when we are people are young whereby you see that the behavior that is acceptable to the society to your group is the one that you want to copy like walking style like okay sagging uh, some whatever the way you sag your trousers the way you walk like mahome those things so you're copying that style because of pressure of the peer to be accepted in that group others are inherited uh, okay i i am um, that, that one is debatable others are inherited whereby what you are uh, the the environment that you're born in that is what you're likely to continue behaving if you're not exposed to other people or to right uh, to right behaviors for example there are behaviors that you're told people who come in a certain region they behave in a uh, in a certain way uh like, like the, the this an a uh, walking style the this way someone can walk because of where he's been brought up like now come on you kabani and they walk long distances these are uh, walking style that they've adopted so if you don't know that maybe that space is not needed in a different area you will continue walking the same or even masai <laughs> okay to me uh, it's it's one of it the other one it's uh habitual uh, uh, a, a habit that you that you adopt maybe you're watching someone and you admiring the person and you create a habit out of it or something okay it's not that one for admiring i think this one for habitual it's you unazoea kitu like now maybe putting hands in your pocket when you're talking uh and or or clicking or when someone or sneering some things that we do out of a habit maybe you did once and it relieved you of something and unazoea kuifanya and you find it doing in a place that you were not expected to do it the others are learned behavior this one i picked it like the one that he, um, a director gave an example of people uh uh chewing again i remember in tr- most of the trainings those people who've been in uh official trainings or government trainings the these that uh it is the culture of most trainers 
when they are preparing those training uh, seminar rooms, I don't know why we don't have them here, they usually have sweets and lots of water. I don't know what it is usually for. So, okay, I thought it's for keeping people alert and good sweets. So maybe next time we'll introduce that so that they don't take uh, guns. Uh, the other one, <laughs> the other one is deception. Yeah, yeah, it's welcome. Now, I want to say that uh, you find that uh, sometimes it is being advocated. One, for example, when in the medical field, I do understand that uh, the people that have maybe suffered things like mild stroke you are advised to chew gum. Chewing gum will may bring in a lot of practice to your jaws. So because in the, in the stroke when it hits you, you find that sometimes the, the, there is the disfigurement of the, of the jaw. So by chewing the gum, you are exercising it. That's one, one, pie, one part. The other thing is that uh, they do say and especially those who also undertake some of the driving causes. This is a psychological thing that they are bringing in, that when you are driving and you want to concentrate and there's no music in the, in the vehicle, you should chew gum. Chewing gum brings concentration. That's what they say. So you are able to concentrate. Now, I don't, under, I don't know whether it is because of the ingredients that are in the gum but that is actually what I talked to one person who was telling me that they are told that when you are driving and you chew gum, you can concentrate on the Lord very much. The other thing, they also say that uh, when you chew, chew gum, before you attend an interview, you are more alert. You become more alert, more relaxed. So that's why you find that uh, it, in the trainers, they are bringing that, that thing, that before you go for the interview, chew gum. It brings some alertness in the mind. Uh, now, I have not yet done a lot of research so that I may understand this aspect of the alertness. But don't appear in the interview before the panel chewing gum. They will throw you out. So if you are chewing gum, they chew before you enter into, into the room. So the, pup, the whole purpose about it, actually, is about some alertness that comes. That's what they are saying. Some alertness that comes as a result of of, of that, uh, that, that point, especially within the mind. Now, I'm bringing that is, if you're in the training circle, like some of you are workers, utaingia katika mahali hile training hiko, ukute meza hii mewekerewa, sweet, na, manji, manji is not an issue, kwa mana manji, it refreshes. If you sit for a long time and you take water, it will refresh you, but it will not offend the other person. But the gum is something else. Commander, the gum takes concentration away. So the question is this. What is the, that they are trying to address through chewing? Ni nini hicho wanataka kurekebisha kwa kukupea the sweets? Na unajua hata medically wanasema sweets are not healthy. Lakini uliwekewa. Okay, before she comes in, let me come to the other end. Quickly stand up. Uh. So realized that um, many schools today, before students do exams, because I have seen this, actually, this uh, uh, school where I went to supervise an examination at secondary school, and the students were demanding sweets before they sit for the paper. And so the principal had to ensure that she has bought a number of packets and the students are given sweets before they sit for the paper. So I'm asking her, why are you doing it? And she's telling me, in fact, it is important because it brings in concentration. And that's not one school, actually. 
it's quite a number of schools that are adopting the same same method so you find that the students are demanding sweets before they do the exam both in the primary school and even in the secondary school so i think what is very very important is understanding what is this thing that is being addressed through the sweets what is this thing actually This question, what causes this we are calling the personal defects? Okay, the, uh, about the sweets and the water, uh, as, as uh, Duncan was saying, the, they are given before exams and it's advised uh, some schools do before after you do the morning papers before sitting the afternoon papers you're not supposed to eat so much so that you cannot lose concentration so even they advise you can take a fanta and uh, as I was asking why uh, somebody told me it boosts the blood sugar because the blood sugar helps has to con uh, it helps in concentration and then again about water, it refreshes. So uh, when you take a lot of sweets, even when they do say wakatim kuna michezo, people take a lot of sugarly things to keep them active. So it keeps your system active. So you can think than the, the normal time when you take sugarly things. So that's what I have. For me, I feel like it is much of a, a great problem than we think. Because I think when the teacher is giving or I eat a chewing gum, is kuna exam kesho, and there is a problem which I have been having from within, and there is something else that is coming to prompt that thing, to bring that it is adding into something, something that is, uh, that is, has been, it is prompting something which has been within me. Within me, I would say, uh, I would say, if a student is given a sweet, before ako, ako na confidence ya kupita ire mtiani, na pengine hakuweza kusoma vizuri ama hana uwakika, then kesho ire tunasemanga, Inaitangwa nini before you do KCSE and KCPE? Eh? Yes. Rehearsals. And then people say of what? Is it stressed or is it like panic? So they are given to cool that panic. But the panic, if you, it is in a student form, kuna ida ina bring your panic. Then the teacher is trying to calm down that panic because of something that is within that student. Sasa wacha ninge from myself. Now, when you are chewing, when I started to chew a chewing, ni nanunuanga na packets. So, I found, uh, <laughs> let me convince my sins. <laughs> Aya, okay, when my, mama, my mother died, there is, uh, I would say, an emptiness. I began to feel from within me. Now, I did not know how to feel that emptiness. Now, I started to feel I am thinking too much, behold. Then, I am losing sleep. Then, I am not eating, but I want to calm myself down. I want to calm myself down to understand another person. No matter I feel uh, I have that sharp understanding. Lakini the sharp of that, under, the sharpness, it comes away. 
So there is something I am losing from within me and I want to maintain that thing. So without me knowing or looking for the right direction to bring in this something that I feel I am losing or I have lost, okay, I have lost it and I should bring in something that will occupy that emptiness within me and heal it because it should not stay. Uh, uh, instead of that, my mind does not give me that. My mind gives me, in fact, when I am thinking about something, that's when I put weight. Then when I don't have any problem to think about. So me putting weight is like every place I pass and I have money, I eat junk food. So I found eating junk food in a siski kukula, so things that are sugary. So you feel like you want to eat things that are sugary to, to, to calm something down. So what I would do, I would buy things, then go to the bedroom, sit there, it's like I'm having time, then I, 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 I take the, the, the sweets or the, the, the chewing gum. So by that, it does not uh, end that problem. It becomes an addiction. That addiction in a in a in a car you in a car you portray. Then the emptiness bring, takes away anything that is important. And that which you know is important, you want to make it still important. You come to the meeting, you feel I want to listen to him. Uh, he has a good message. I love him. I want to respect him. And I want to, 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 to make sure there is a concentration. There is something within. Because when you... you, you I think I'm speaking my state. Unaskia, kuna kitu you are trying to feel with that thing. Lakini yaiko. So, kama vile amesema, there are so many dimensions. Kuna zingine we have inherited. Na kuna zingine also, uh, you lose that confidence, kuna, kuna student at a panic because Hannah is confident. The confident is lost in so many dimensions I would say. Sometimes you lose confident when uh, I realized what I said being brought up by a single mother, there is a confident I don't have and I have to bring it. So when I came to the ministry, that is what I began to work on. Because within me, I don't have the strength to say no to what is no. And to say yes to what I think is yes. So you find yourself, you end up into the wrong path. Because within you, kuna kitu ambacho udirewa, kuna, kuna dimension udirak. Which I, I found it is true because another lady, she is single, she told me, I'm bringing up my children, but I am noting my, my children are not assertive. They, they don't know what to say no when it is a no. They don't have that courage from within. stand So you find when you're in peers, especially when you are growing in that state, you end up in a more mess. You can enter into drugs. And then at the same time, kuna kitu urirak, ukiwa unakuwa. You didn't have that strategy of that father. So there is that emptiness and you want to feed it. And there is that peer pleasure. So you end up in drugs, you end up in addictions, you end up in this. And then all those is that you are trying to calm down. Like now the, the other time they were bringing this thing about the, the Madawa ya Korevia in Mombasa. If these people are interviewed, wanasamanga aji, nina kunywa, ili nieze kufil hae, nieze kufil nikosawa, nieze kusahau mashida zangu. So, you are entering into that thing because within you there is something, there is a, 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 a something within you, you are contenting with it, na you want to feed it with something. So, kure unaangukia, kuneza kuwa safe, ama kuneza kuwa kubaya. Maana yure aliangukia kwa drugs, uye aliangukia kwa hii. So, for me, I'm feeling this thing is so much wide concerning the the, it's not about the chewing gum only. It's about the state of, because that verse of Daniel chapter 1 verse 3, it, all those things, 
you cannot bring yourself up if the state of your soul is not up to the standard. If the state of your soul is not healed, if the state of your soul inarak something within, kutakuwa na defect, kutakuwa na autakuwa na ku concentrate you have a skilled wisdom. So the state of the soul itself because I'm feeling now that thing should be addressed more deeper. How uh, what is the state of our souls? Uh, 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 within us because like me from the time she died i have i have not been able to to bring myself back there is still so much pain within and uh, uh, not regretting but kuna kitu kuna 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 unafsi wandani ina ina it is robbing me some i would say somewhat I, I can't explain. Lakini kuna kitu unasikia I'm lacking and I am not finding it anywhere and I want to heal the state of my heart because of what happened. It's not about the death. The death I don't have a problem with it. But the path that I walked before that person died. The things that I encountered and the issues, the situations that put my soul into a place, I am feeling I am blessed. The devil itself was seeding that path. But the path I walked and the things that happened on my way, to now to the actual thing that happened to the death, is what I want to get rid of. Is I, I want to get healed from. So that now I may bring myself back, walk in confidence, and go through.